Welcome back to DBL. A dying veteran's plea for help went viral when it was all caught on camera. You won't believe how his nurses allegedly reacted and why they're trying to throw a piece of evidence out the window. Here is DBL's True Crime Chronicles. James Dempsey was an 89-year-old World War II Navy veteran. In 2014, he was experiencing liver problems, so his family brought him to an Atlanta area rehab center for treatment. Nervous to stay alone overnight, his family put him at ease by installing a hidden camera in his alarm clock. Little did his family know that small decision would have a huge impact. <laughs> Caught on camera, James begging for the nurse's help. He called for help six times until a nurse finally responded. She ignored his request and is heard laughing. When James's family saw the footage, they watched with sheer horror. Horror that three different nurses failed to help him. James became unresponsive and died. His family sued, saying the nurses didn't provide timely and necessary medical assistance, resulting in his death. So it was the videos that told the story, not the clinical record, so that we know what happened and all the horrors that Mr. Dempsey had to live through. It wasn't until 2017 that something was done, thanks to a local news station. Tonight, law enforcement are crediting 11 Alive investigator Andy Parati for uncovering the hidden video that has proven to be so crucial in this case. After the video came to light, it went to court. A grand jury indicted three nurses, one with felony murder, and two were charged with trying to conceal his death. We would not be able to prosecute this case without that video. And those videos in my mind leave no doubt as to what happened in this case. Nearly three years later, the case is still on hold because the nurses are fighting it. Their attorney claims the footage was recorded illegally and shouldn't be allowed in trial. There's no better way to determine the factual basis for any claims of abuse or neglect against the elderly than an ability to see the video. Finally, though, some renewed hope for James's family. The decision to use that piece of evidence is now up to the Supreme Court. Earlier, Al and Tori spoke with the reporter who helped break this case. Take a look. We're joined by investigative reporter Andy Parati from 11 Alive in Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you, Andy, for being here and for keeping this case in the news. James Dempsey's death was recorded thanks to the hidden camera his son put in his nursing home room. You know, when I interviewed the district attorney in 2017, she told me that this case rises and falls with that hidden camera video. Simply put, they can't bring this case to trial without that wow. video. And here's why. When you look at the medical records involving Mr. Dempsey, it appears on paper that the nurses did everything right. It's the video that tells a different story. So if the Georgia Supreme Court tosses the video out, there is a chance these three nurses could see their charges drop wow. or significantly reduced. Well, so, well, let's stay on the nurses topic for a second. Three nurses were charged with trying to conceal James' death. What is their side of the story? Yeah. Like, what are they saying happened that day? Like, what's their explanation? You know, for years, we have tried to reach out to these three women, calling, emailing, even knocking on their doors. They are not speaking, but through their attorneys and court records filed on their behalf, they deny any wrongdoing. Georgia lawmakers previously tried to pass legislation to allow cameras inside nursing home rooms. It failed. Do you think this case could change that? You know, each year the legislation has received a little bit more attention in the Georgia State House, but is, has yet to receive a full vote from lawmakers. If the justices throw this video out, you can expect a lot more attention on this case. And based on the initial reaction to this investigation, a lot of public outrage. Mm. But if the justices do allow this video, it could allow for some sort of case law to be set to allow future videos, similar videos to Mr. Dempsey's to be used in future criminal trials. That decision could happen any moment now, but likely early next year. 
I'm, I was just thinking and wanted to say that like if I had a loved one, especially now in the pandemic in a nursing home where you can't get access, I would 1000% want a camera in there. It's the next best yeah, a lot thing. Of people agree. Yeah, I, 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 that's shocking to me and I'm glad we're publicizing this case. For the latest on this case and to learn more, visit 11alive.com. You can also listen to a new podcast episode out about this case. Just search True Crime Chronicles on your favorite podcast player. Any thanks again. We'll be right back.